Once upon a time, in the heart of Asia, there lay a land of grandeur and strife, a land whose history was woven with threads of glory and tragedy, Afghanistan. This is the tale of how the Afghans, against all odds, ascended to the zenith of power, only to witness the crumbling of their empire into the annals of history. Our story begins in the midst of the 18th century, a time when Afghanistan was but a conglomeration of tribal territories, constantly embroiled in conflicts and power struggles. Amidst this chaos emerged a visionary leader, Ahmad Shah Durrani, whose ambition knew no bounds. In 1747, he forged a confederation of tribes, laying the foundation of the Durrani Empire. Ahmad Shah, with his military prowess and strategic acumen, embarked on a conquest that would reverberate through the annals of history. From the sun-baked deserts of Persia to the lush valleys of the Indian subcontinent, his army swept across lands, subjugating kingdoms and establishing dominion. Under Ahmad Shah's leadership, Afghanistan flourished. Kabul, the capital, became a bustling center of trade and culture, attracting merchants and intellectuals from distant lands. The empire expanded its borders, encompassing vast swathes of Central and South Asia. At its zenith, the Durrani Empire rivaled the might of the Mughals and the Safavids. Yet, it was not merely through conquest that Ahmad Shah endeared himself to his people. He was a ruler of great wisdom, known for his fair governance and respect for diverse cultures and religions. It was this blend of military prowess and statesmanship that sustained the empire through its golden age. But empires, like sandcastles, are ephemeral. With Ahmad Shah's demise, the empire began to unravel. Succession disputes tore at the fabric of unity, while external pressures mounted. The British Empire, hungry for dominance in the region, encroached upon Afghan territories, sparking conflicts that drained the empire's resources. Amidst these challenges, internal strife brewed. Tribal rivalries resurfaced, undermining the authority of the central government. Corruption festered, sapping the empire's strength from within. As the 19th century dawned, Afghanistan found itself besieged on all fronts, teetering on the brink of collapse. The 19th century was a tumultuous era for Afghanistan. The Great Game, a geopolitical struggle between the British and Russian empires, played out on Afghan soil, leaving a trail of devastation in its way. In 1839, the British launched an ill-fated invasion, seeking to impose their will upon the Afghan people. But the Afghans were not easily subdued. They rose in defiance, unleashing a guerrilla war that crippled the British forces. The harsh terrain and the indomitable spirit of the Afghan warriors proved to be formidable adversaries. In 1842, the British were forced to retreat, humbled by the resilience of the Afghan people. Victory, however, came at a heavy price. The Afghan empire emerged battered and scarred from the conflict. Internal divisions deepened, while external threats loomed large on the horizon. The empire, once a beacon of power and prestige, now stood on shaky ground, its glory fading into memory. As the 20th century dawned, Afghanistan witnessed a series of upheavals, coups, civil wars, and foreign interventions, that further weakened its foundations. The once mighty empire fragmented into warring factions, each vying for control amidst the chaos. The saga of Afghanistan's empire is a tale of triumph and tragedy, of ambition and hubris. It serves as a poignant reminder of the ephemeral nature of power and the perils of overreach. But amidst the ruins of empire's past, there are lessons to be learned. For Afghanistan, the path to stability lies not in conquest or coercion but in unity and reconciliation. It is a land rich in history and culture, a land whose true strength lies in the resilience of its people. As Afghanistan navigates the turbulent waters of the 21st century, may it draw upon the wisdom of its past to forge a brighter future for generations to come. And thus, dear reader, concludes our tale, The Rise and Fall of Afghanistan's Empire, a story etched in the sands of time, a testament to the enduring spirit of a nation.